Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and this is Bloomcrest. In this build series, every lot increases in price. We literally started up here with a tent and now we're all the way down here about to build a $2.5 million community lot in The Sims 4. If you wanna watch this playlist all the way up till this point, there's tons of storylines and lore that we've built into this whole series. You can find that in the description down below. I'll also pin it in the comments. This series has taken me so much work. It's literally like my base. So if you guys are enjoying it, make sure you're liking the videos, comment and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. But anyway, let's build this $2.5 million community lot today. So the lot that we're going to be building today is going to be a theater. It's going to be a really cool community lot. You guys may know if you've been following this series that I just got back from New York not too long ago. <laughs> And while I was in New York, I actually was lucky enough to go to a theater. So we're gonna bring some inspiration from that today. I was also trying to think about what would match our storyline. <laughs> that is not what I intended to draw there. It's going to be owned by Willow Vine. I have her ready for me to be building here. And my build strategy is gonna be a little bit different today. You're gonna see me doing kind of like parts of the build before we put it all together. This series has required me to make the biggest builds I have literally ever made in The Sims 4 and it's interesting how you have to kind of adapt and change how you build and your whole building strategy depending on how big it is. So normally when I'm going to build a house in The Sims 4, I'm going to be building like the entire shell and then going with like the wallpaper and the windows and stuff. Today what I'm going to be doing is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be piecing it together piece by piece. I'm not going to be putting my entire theater into this, obviously this like tiny little tower. But at this point in the game, we're in end game. We only have two more lots to build after this for this entire series series, I have no choice but to put as much detail into every inch of all of these properties. So that's what we're going to be doing. And instead of making a big shell and like doing it that way, I feel like this is going to be a lot easier to keep track of all the detail. So I'm going to put my wallpaper on today. I'm going to be using this one here from Get Together. I'm also going to get my trim, this thick one that I'm probably going to put around everywhere that I can. And then for the other parts, I'm going to go in with the matching trim, like this smaller one. In the last build, I split it up into two parts. I kind of don't want to do that today. I don't really want to do that for the rest of the builds. You guys are enjoying the longer videos, which is actually awesome and kind of surprising to me. So if you guys want the longer versions, we can do that. So basically what I'm doing here is just setting the stage for what I want to be on the rest of the build. I'm picking the windows that are going to go with this color scheme and this style that I've built here. And I'm hoping that the way that I'm going to be doing this will translate to the rest of the build. I'm going to be showing you my inspiration for the theater that we're building today. I, when I think of theater, I think of beautiful, detailed, grand, elegant, in gold red. So we're going to be bringing in all of those tones today. I'm going to put a little detail on top, just that little point. I'm planning on spending at least around a million dollars on the exterior alone. So no holding back at this point. We are having gold knights guarding the doors. I'm going to go straight to the gallery and download some art right away because I want it to be on the outside of the building, which actually a throwback to the last video, Banshee HBO in the gallery has some great art that I found. Not only do they have fashion art, which I used in the last build it was like a high fashion kind of thing they also have movie art like this here there's a whole bunch of different films in different styles and different colors so I'm gonna be downloading a whole bunch of these and when I think of theaters I think of like a downtown hustle bustle kind of area and they always have like movie advertisements on their theaters so I'm gonna be putting these on this side we can put it in the empty space that I have around my windows like this one is Jurassic Park these are so cool and then we're also gonna be bringing in that trick that I used in the last episode with the Vlad picture and I'm going to be using this as a frame. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of shrinking it, putting this around each side and these are 2,800 each. So the money is going to rack right up. No stopping. <laughs> no stopping this freaking money train. Choo -choo. I don't know if this theater, I guess we're going to have to see if we're going to be having like music in here or if it's going to be like plays, a movie theater. I don't really know yet. But now that we have this one piece, I'm going to start to expand this way and start building the rest of the lot. I think from here, so I'm gonna have to delete that window. I'm just gonna go all the way across like this for now. I know we're doing four floors, so I'm just copying and pasting this all the way up. This is gonna be our next part of this here. So I'm gonna go in and start to like add the details that I want with this. Literally just looks like a building block at this point. I'm gonna connect this so that it's part of the rest of the tower. <gasps> that looks cool. It like just blended in with it. So I could see us having a balcony here. I'm gonna punch that part out. I'm also gonna go in and grab 
grab some vampires archways that I used in the last build. I'm gonna be bringing that into this one as well. So we'll do a little features like that. And then I was thinking inside there, I could add a wall and this is where I could put some movie posters again on display. So I'm just gonna grab them. I'll do like the Vlad thing later. I'll just like put those in there. Make sure that you can see them from the outside. And then I could put like lights, like flashing towards those so that they're all lit up at night and it's gonna look nice and proper. I literally watched Ghostbusters last night. Okay, so Archway's there. I'm gonna get some columns. We're gonna do a balcony here. So for now, I'm just gonna put these here and we're gonna use the same fence, the Discovery University one that I've been using so much through this series. I was thinking yesterday, like after this series is done, we are doing a full pivot. We gotta do like a tiny home series or something. Our doors, I'm gonna do two different kinds of doors. We'll use those ones there from Discovery University and these ones from Vampires. I actually think I'm gonna delete this top floor for now because I wanna add a roofing piece here. Even though I do plan on doing the four floors, I think this might look kind of cool. So I'm gonna bring this over, bring it all the way down. We're just gonna have a tiny little roof like that. And then what I'm also gonna do is build on top of that. So we'll do like, a, I don't know, a room here going all the way this way. I told you guys this is gonna be the weirdest way to build. Oh yeah, we are definitely out of here. Trust the process, okay? We got this. So that's gonna be the top part. I'm literally just like leaving it not filled in in the back. We'll bring our wallpaper over so that we kind of get the idea. We could do a door upstairs, maybe like that one with some vampires windows. We'll get my roof trim on there. And then what I'm gonna do now is make this so much easier on myself. We're gonna take this entire room here. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna turn it and place it over here right beside the tower again. So I don't have to rebuild this room. I wanted it to be exactly the same. So I'm just gonna be copying and pasting and bringing everything over to the other side. So bringing the roof over, gonna put that right on top of there. We're gonna have to adjust because I have a whole bunch of weird areas going on in the middle. But now I'm gonna be able to actually fill in the back part. So obviously when you think of a theater, it's gonna be like pretty much a big box. You're gonna have to be fitting in tons of space. So that's kind of gonna be what this is. This will be the main area connecting behind here. And now we can connect to the top floor as well. So we're gonna bring this down. I can bring this part out so that it matches that front. I'm just gonna trace this around with my roof and then we're gonna see what we've ended up with. Okay, I mean, so far so good. We've got a start. <laughs> we do have to fix it up a little bit though. So what I'm gonna do is go in with this trim and make sure it's everywhere that I want it to be. So I'm gonna be going around the building here. We're gonna fill in all the wallpaper and I still think I'm gonna add on a little bit extra to my shell. Let's maybe take it out a little bit more. I can do another bump out along this side. We can do a different roofing style over here. I'm gonna be going in with a half hipped roof. Not gonna be going overly crazy with my roofing because the detail is gonna speak for itself on this build. So we've got this part here. I think I'm gonna maybe do like a little bump out in the front. Okay, so with the shell and everything, this is what it's looking like. I think my shell is good to go. I've added some extra windows, some more like paintings and everything, some more advertisements. And this is what we're looking like all the way around. I added a few more bump outs back here. I'm not by any means done with my details yet, but this is what the front is looking like. It's like hard to show you when the build is this big for some reason. <laughs> I actually somehow still have tricks to spend money that I haven't shown you guys yet. I did this in my most expensive mansion build series. This is a modish monolith from Spa Day. And you can get really creative in the ways that you use this. I'm going to be putting this right in between my columns, shrinking it down and raising it on top of each other. And this is basically gonna be just like a little accent piece here. I'm hoping it's kind of gonna look like I built a bump out, but it's just like these pieces sticking out. So like that, I'm gonna do the exact same thing in between here. I don't think I'm gonna get too carried away with this, but definitely a good hack uh, for spending money here. Okay, we still need to raise this thing up on a foundation, so I'm gonna do that. I don't even know where the little arrow is. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna raise this thing up. My tiny homes are screaming like, come back to me. So we've got our foundation up. I'm gonna get my foundation paint. And now all I have to do is kind of fix up the entrances here. So I'm just gonna go in and bring my fence where I think we need some flooring. I think I could probably bring this all the way up this way. Oh no, my knights, I really need you guys to not leave, stay. So we'll bring it here. We could go this way and maybe like on a diagonal and then around. And then for our stairs, these stairs can get pretty expensive. I wanna make sure that we have enough room to do this, first of all. I wanna do three sets of stairs leading up. So we'll do one here, we'll do one there. And then actually I could probably do another one over here. Maybe this one I'll extend this way a little bit. Honestly, may as well just bring it all the way over at this point. And then I was thinking in between there, we could try and do something cool. I'm gonna delete this fence because I feel like that looks kind of weird in the middle. And in between here, I'm gonna go in with one 
one of these pedestals and I was thinking that on top of that, I could add like a little flower thing. So there's these garden planters, which actually fit perfectly on top of there. Okay, that's a pretty good deal there. 1600 simoleons for some decor. And I actually like that. It like, it brings in a little bit of greenery. So I'm gonna bring that around and do the exact same thing on this side. Ooh, this is looking cool. Look at it with that lighting, with the moon in the background. Oh my God, I'm gonna screenshot that when we're done. Okay, final touches we're gonna add before we go inside. I'm gonna go and get the Get Famous like cinema things. We have some really cool details that we can put in here. So I wanna use this, the name and lights marquee. And I wanna put this somewhere too. There's like another one, like a, a long version. I'm gonna shrink this maybe. We can do two at the front. I'm actually gonna add some of these from Eco Lifestyle. I'm gonna put these right in front because sometimes I feel like theaters have those like overhangs. That's why I built that balcony there, but I feel like that kind of brings it together. And then maybe on top of that, we can go back in with the Get Famous marquee and I'll put this right above, oh, like right there. Okay, let's shrink that. <gasps> that looks so cool. Another thing I wanted to add from Get Famous are these, they are $800 each. I remember I used this on my most expensive mansion as well. I'm gonna put these right in the middle and shrink them and we're gonna do just like a cool little design right here. I might also put these on the side of like my tower. I could do maybe looking like they're coming out of each side here. Maybe we can put like four. Oh, when I think of theater, I also think of like red carpet. So let's go in and grab that. By the way, this is my first time building a theater. So I guarantee, especially when we get on the inside, the people that are really, really into theater are gonna be like, oh no, what are you doing, girl? But trust me, I'm trying my best, okay? So I got the matching red there and that totally brought it together with the color. Okay, I'm gonna do my landscaping. I'm gonna do the other side here and bring together the back, which I still have to do. And then hopefully by that point, we can go inside. Okay, so after the landscaping, all of the freaking details that I had to put onto this thing, it's finally done. We didn't quite spend a million on the exterior. I kind of wanted to get down to the 1.5 before we went inside, but I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I love all the posters on there. The lighting that I put on there to like show them off is really cool. So this is it from around the front and then around the back. I didn't really go too crazy with the back, but I do have like a back exit back here. There's like more nights back here, balconies. I like to add places where there can be like a breather, like where you could go outside and just stand there on the balcony. So there's quite a few of those places in here, which are gonna be kind of annoying to cover on the inside, I think. I'm nervous for the inside of this. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but let's go inside. So the reason why I'm worried about this is because I want to do a two-story theater. Out of the four stories that I have. What? So I think my first approach is gonna figure out where to put that since that is like the main thing here. That's problem number one. Problem number two is gonna be I need so many flights of stairs. So I'm wondering if I should figure that out first. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my stairs. I'm gonna go ahead and get the expensive ones. We're gonna be using, I think maybe black or maybe we'll do white for now. We have three entry doors here. So I think if I did like a main entry area here, this could look cool. Like theaters have the big staircases and everything. So we have our first set of stairs right there. I have this open wall right here because of the way that the archways turned out. So I wonder if I should make that like the front of the theater. Like we can maybe connect door to door. So I've got like that side door there that I can connect. And then there's another door here and maybe this can be the theater. But then I also need like backstage. I need balcony viewing. And on the upper floor, I have a door right here, which is kind of going to get in the way of what I want to do here. I'm going to connect this to the side and then my hope here is that once I have a square in the middle I can punch that out and we're gonna have kind of like the two floors as one so I can maybe connect this part right here this is the balcony viewing that I'm trying to picture right now and then since I still need a backstage maybe that can be like right here but then I need like a whole separate staircase for people to be able to get up here like the people behind the scenes so maybe I can sneak that in this and then we'll do another backstage like right there and then if I got everything think correct, I should be able to just punch this out. Kind of. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna have a whole whirlwind of trim issues, I think. So I'm just gonna deal with it later and delete everything that I can at the moment. And now I'm gonna go in with my fencing, which we're gonna get a really expensive one here. And this is where I'm gonna start to carve out my balconies. So balcony there, balcony here, and we'll do another balcony on that side there. So everyone is gonna be facing this side. And then my stage, I'm gonna use platforms here because I think it's gonna look really cool once we have all our chairs and everything, but our stage can be right there. And then I'm just gonna raise it all the way up so no Sims can get on it unless they're backstage. But see, this is what I was worried about now because I have all of these balconies, which means I need more sets of stairs to get up there. Oh my 
my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do this floor plan. So maybe, okay, I'm gonna bring a set of stairs here. We're gonna bring it out and this will be our staircase up to balcony one. We can do another staircase leading up to the second floor right here. We'll do one staircase here. That's just gonna be like a VIP section. Only like two really rich Sims can go up there. So I have stairs leading up to every balcony so far. All of my floors are taken care of except for the fourth floor. So I think I'm gonna take one more set of stairs, maybe rotate that and that can just go right here. So now we have a way up to go pretty much everywhere except for backstage. And I think what I'm gonna do is I have this separate entrance over here. I'm wondering if I could kind of like carve out a little spot here for people that are gonna go backstage. And then we could do a whole like director's lounge. We could make like a spot for the actors to get changed. And because I'm not worrying about anyone within the theater, I'm gonna be using ladders here because I probably cannot get stairs into this any other way. So we'll do a ladder there and then I can do another ladder going up here. Theater kids, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we're finally gonna be able to get started furnishing this thing. And I think what I'm gonna do is start off with my chairs so that I can start to like visualize this. So I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna get our railings and everything and I'm gonna go in and grab the Get Famous chairs, the ones that are worth literally 3,000 simoleons. I'm pretty much just gonna be trying to come up with my seating plan right now. So I'm gonna be leaving room within all of these to make sure that they're functional. I have to make sure that I'm leaving enough room for all of the Sims to be able to get into each chair. And honestly, this is where we're gonna see our money start to drop. So I'm kind of excited. We're gonna be doing a few along this side and we'll do a door here. We're gonna do black and red. That's probably gonna be the theme for like most of this. We're gonna get our two extra special VIP chairs. Those are gonna go over here. I feel like they should get one of those like VIP buckets too with like a table or something. I swear the Sims team dropped this right when I needed this. This table is a thousand thirteen hundred dollars. Perfect for my VIP bucket. That's gonna be the only purpose of that table. Actually, I could probably fit one back here too. I could put like a few wherever if I have room. And then down below, I do, like I said, plan on using platforms, but I want to kind of lay this out before I do that. So I'm gonna be using as many chairs as I possibly can. I wanna make sure they're not too far off centered. I honestly feel like once we get the layout, this is gonna be kind of easy because I'm gonna be placing a lot of the same things over and over. That's why I was like kind of confident that I could do this all in one video because once we get our layout and everything, I feel like we're gonna be set. We're gonna be a much better off than we are currently. I'm gonna get some wallpaper. I'm gonna be using all black for the inside and probably for a lot of the theater as well. Backstage is gonna have that all black. It's gonna be really dark back there. And then for the wallpaper for the actual like hallways and stuff, I picture theaters having tons of like elaborate cool details on the wallpapers. There's also like columns and fixtures and so many other things that we can be adding. But I'm gonna use this one here from Paranormal, I think, with all black, just kind of keeping it simple. And then once we get our theater underway, our main floor is gonna be the area where you can buy like the tickets. So that's gonna be like right in the center here. Basically, it's just gonna be a big box where I'm gonna have like ticket sales, popcorn sales, bar, etc. By the way, we are also just about to hit the 1 million mark. We're about 29K away. So the theater part is coming along. Now we need to do the stage and I wanna add like the big curtains and everything. So what I'm gonna do is go in and find, first of all, we need the right curtains for it, which I think I wanna use the Get Famous one and maybe size them up. Ooh, that's gonna look so cool. Okay, we'll do two, maybe three big curtains right here. And then what I'm thinking I could do is behind the scenes, like behind the curtains, we're gonna go in with some columns and add some spandrels. And I'm thinking that this way, we're gonna have actors that are actually able to go onto the stage. So I'm gonna get my spandrels right in between here. And then because my stage is up on a platform, I'm thinking I should be able to put some stairs there. And then this is gonna be the only access onto the stage. That's that's gonna be so cool. That's gonna be 100% functional. I'm gonna make sure my actors have like a way up here. We'll get like the archways in here and everything. And then back here, this is where I wanted to add all of the like mechanical things from Get Famous. Like they have all of these like sound mixer things that are expensive, $2,000 for that. We've also got prop signage. Oh, that's kind of cool. I could like shrink this down, put that back there. Lighting equipment, anything that you would see like behind the scenes. But I just wanna make sure that you can can't actually see it from the stage. The previous ballerina in me would be having a heart attack right now. Oh, there's also like wardrobe things we could put back here. I think there's a director's chair too. Yes, okay, we could put like two here. And then on top of that, I could also get like the Moschino clothing rack and put that back here as well. That way we have an area for them to change. I think I might do the same thing right above this one here so that there's another balcony. And then that could be like our special effects balcony where someone comes like flying yeah. off. 
<laughs> but what I have to do because I have a door back here and some windows, I actually have to cover that up because you don't want the light coming through onto your stage. So I'm gonna go in with these curtains here from Get Famous. These are the ones that I was going to use for that, but I hate that red swatch. I feel like it looks too pinky. I wanted like that royal red color for that. So I'm just gonna be using these for like behind the scenes to cover up anything that would be adding light onto my theater. Before I go any further, before I forget, I wanna make sure I have my platforms in here. So I'm actually just gonna build a wall all the way there and I'm gonna raise this up by one so that when your Sims are in here, they can still walk up the platform. They'll still be able to sit there. They have enough room and I'm just gonna finish that off with a little platform there. I feel like you can't do a cinema these days without doing platforms. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so our layout has come along. I'm planning on adding a lot more detail to this room. We're no by no means done yet, but I wanna move on and start figuring out the rest of this layout. I do know that I want one more theater in here somewhere. So maybe that can be upstairs. We can do one right here, but this could maybe be more of like an intimate kind of thing. Like if there were any like music shows that wanted to be a little bit smaller, that could be held in here. And then also I need to start figuring out my bathrooms. We're gonna need tons of bathrooms for all the Sims that we're gonna be hosting here. So that could be a bathroom there. Third floor is not really looking like I have much room. Maybe I could do one in this like octagon here. We could probably fit another bathroom like right here. And then on the main floor, we'll do another big one right there. So this floor, I want to be like exclusively VIP. This is gonna be like where you would go if you were invited to a special event. We'll have a door here. I think I wanna use the one from Vintage Glamour. And this one, you could probably like lock for specific Sims or like celebrities or something. But since we still have the staircase leading up, there's so many different things that you have to think about when you're building a community lot. It's so much harder than building a house in The Sims 4. But what I think I wanna do is build a bar here with like some tables. I wanna use those same ones that I use for the VIP buckets. And we could make this into like a lounge or something. Like people could come up here and listen to music. If you're invited to the special area, then you could like get a drink before the show or something. But this is where we could have a whole bunch of tables and people just kind of like hanging out. Okay, so general layout is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get some curtains. I wanna use the ones with the lights on them. I think it's gonna give off just enough light that it's gonna look really pretty in here. So let's get these covering. I don't think I'm gonna use platforms in here or anything. Like I said, I want it to just be like a really intimate space. And then in here, we could add the instruments. So I wanna get a microphone or two. We could add these like right here. Of course, we'll get a couple violins in here. And now we can add the chairs. See, this is the kind of place that I would want to be, I think. So we'll get all our chairs laid out again. I'm gonna add as many as I can in here without it looking too cramped. Like probably just three rows like that. And then in between all of these, I think I'm gonna be adding like a fitness stuff carpet. Let's do it in black just to add a little extra detail. And I'm probably gonna bring this down into the theater downstairs as well. And then back here, again, this is kind of just meant to be like a behind like backstage sort of thing. So I think what I'm gonna do, this one is more like closed off a little bit, but I think I'm gonna add the same like equipment, like the music mixing station. I could add like extra guitars back here and stuff, extra violins that are $15,000. And I feel like I should add like a mini fridge or something, somewhere where the musicians could come and get some water. Maybe with like an eco lifestyle, like drink tray or something and just get a little bit of realism in there. Cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I've been doing in the rest of this series, which is gonna be laying everything out and then adding the details for the walkthrough at the end. So let's get this bathroom out of the way and then we pretty much have like a general layout for this floor. So what I'm gonna be doing is adding the stalls like this. This is kind of how I've been doing all of my like community bathrooms in this series, just purely because I want to be fitting as many 5,000 doilies, as many <laughs> $5,000 toilets. I always said doilet. As many of those as I possibly can. Somebody in the last episode commented that watching this is kind of like watching a sport and like watching all the money drop. And I freaking died. It's so true. That is how it feels to me while building this. It does feel like a sport. So let's watch that money drop. All these $5,000 toilets. Goodbye. Goodbye, money. Don't come back. Okay, layout is done for this floor. We're gonna go down, check on this one. In these areas, I think I'm just planning on putting like a bar. I'm thinking back to when I was in New York on all these little floors, there were bathrooms and then there were also like concession stands. So we'll have like a bar here. I might add some like lounge tables around as well. We need of course some more backstage equipment. Yeah, second and third floor are basically taken up by most of the theaters. So any extra space that I add there will just be like a bar. More toilets. <laughs> 
this is insane. Okay. Sometimes I just kind of like realize what I'm doing and I'm like, why? Why? All right. I'm going to start working on this main area. This is the first floor that we're on right now. This is where we're going to have like ticket sales and the main concession. We need to start to bring this thing together. We've got a general layout for the most part. Now we're going to start to fill everything in. So I'm going to be adding these. I also want to add these, I think, at the front. Just some big like chandelier lighting that you would probably see when you walk into a theater. I'm also going to connect this over this way and maybe do like a seating area or something. Okay, so we need some counters for our concession. I think this lighting is also going to start to bring it together a little bit. So counters are going to be all back here. And I really wish we had like a vintage popcorn maker because the ones that we do have are like from the cool kitchen pack. And I don't honestly think they're going to cut it. They look so small to be in this like huge theater situation, but we should do it right. Like, I mean, we have to. So we'll get the popcorn machine and the ice cream machine. We'll have both. Like, look how small it is. That is not going to feed this whole theater. Maybe we can do like a coffee machine as well. And I want to have some way so that we can only have the staff back here. So maybe what I'll do is like add some doors on this side. I'll add some island pieces. This is where we're going to put our cash registers. And to section it off, I think I want to use maybe this fence here from get to work. I think I'm just going to add that there and one here. And that actually looks pretty good. So no Sims will be able to get back there unless they open this little door right here. And that's going to lead into the back area. Okay, now we can get our cash registers. Those will be on here. I think I'm going to add like four. <laughs> this looks like it would be such a busy area. I'm going to add some more movie posters, I think. But right now I'm just going to use our placeholder here. So we've got that there. Maybe we can do like another picture here and another one here. And then I really want to put curtains like through these archways. So I'm going to go and find some cute ones that I can put down here. Maybe we could still use like the Get Famous ones. Or we could maybe get creative and try and build our own. I'm going to use these. I love this color here. And I'm going to put those on each side. But since they don't really go all the way over, there's no like bar connecting them. I'm going to make my own. This is also going to be a way that we can eat up money. I'm going to go and get a really expensive shelf. And what we're going to do is just make our own rods here. So I'm going to be doing that all the way across every single one of these little archways, adding the curtains, putting the shelving. And I actually might be doing more with that shelving upstairs because I'm been running into this issue here. The theater has this like trim going on around the fence, which I can't get rid of without messing up the outside. So what I think I'm literally going to be doing is building a wall right underneath here. It's going to mess up everything, but I'm just going to delete that wall in a minute. And I'm going to be adding those shelves right above where I want to hide that trim. Literally the most time consuming thing ever. I'm literally going to be going along and adding all of these shelves along the bottom so that hopefully when I delete this, I'm not going to see that white trim anymore. Such a subtle thing to be annoyed about and fixing, but I feel like that looks a lot better than that. And once I add more of them, I could add them like along the top here to add some more trim. The most time consuming thing ever. I'm not going to make you guys sit through watching this, but those are my shelving ideas to eat up money. Okay, so I placed all my curtains and all my shelves. I've done a lot of work to this bottom floor, so I'm going to show you what I've added. I added this cute little walk-in space where we've got the trophies on the side, some cool like artifacts on display from like past movies. Those are from Get Famous. On this side, I didn't know that these swatches were in here. The default is actually this one that comes with Get Famous, but then there's also like these fun little like movie posters in here. So I added those. And then I also finished off our ticket area too. So this is where you would buy your tickets. We've got our popcorn sales, ice cream, coffee, whatever you want. We got it. And look at all these cool pictures. All right, I'm going to go over here and make a little seating area. So we're going to get some of our couches going all the way to the bottom and getting these super expensive ones. I'm also thinking about adding some TVs in here. And I don't think that would be too out of place because like, let's say you came down here to get your popcorn or whatever. Maybe you could watch the TV and like what's going on downstairs as well. So we're going to add these all around. I think depending on where you go, like some places have this. Imagine like there's a whole theater production going on and someone is just like downstairs watching that. Probably wouldn't be a good look. We'll do a big red carpet right in the middle, maybe with like another expensive coffee table like this one from Get Famous. Oh my God, my computer is like crying out loud. We'll get some end tables in here. And then I think I might also add like a piano downstairs or something. I have this corner over here. So grand piano welcoming you as you enter the door. <laughs> big red rug right underneath it. And then over here, this is our separate area that's going to lead upstairs like backstage. I think down here I'm going to add their own little 
little concession things. So I'm gonna get some counters. I wanna add the mini fridges and everything. So we'll put a couple of those here. I'm probably gonna add some more like director's chairs down here, like a mini little lounge for them. VIP buckets even. Look at that money dropping. This is honestly in terms of furnishing, the hardest for me to show you guys, but the easiest for me to go through because it's a lot of repeating the same items. When you think of a theater, it's like a lot of empty space. It's full of people, you know? I do wanna work a little bit more on the upstairs though. I started to add little candles up here, getting the vibe. I think we're gonna black this whole thing out with curtains. So I'm gonna put these all along. Get Famous also has like a guitar picture. Oh, hidden in here, there is a guitar. So the Royal Artifacts are like the first swatch here, but underneath there's these, there's two swatches for guitars, which I think is gonna look kind of cool here. This is gonna have a total different vibe than the rest of the place. It's gonna be like chill. I could see like jazz music being played up here. This is very much giving off like a jazz club vibe. I would love that. That would be really cool. I like adding these just for like a little bit of design in here. And then over in this corner, I think all we need is like a couch or something. So the final details that I'm gonna show you on camera are going to be for the theater itself. So what I'm doing here is going in with these wall fixtures, twisted ribbons from Get Famous. And I'm literally going to be making my own wallpaper with these. So I'm just gonna be stacking them one on top of the other, evenly spaced all the way through this entire thing. Because when I was trying to find inspiration for like building my theater, all of them had like elaborate details on the wall, like intricate patterns and stuff. So I wanted to bring this detail into it. And plus this is gonna be eating up a lot of my money. I still also have to do all of the shelving that I was planning on doing through this entire thing. So a lot of the rest of this is gonna be me placing small details like that. So I'm actually going to pick back up, do the walkthrough with you guys after this, cause I'm gonna be doing this for hours. Three hours later. Okay friends, I am done. I don't even wanna tell you how long this build took me, but we're done and we are about to tour it. Are you ready? For the Grand Theater of Bloomcrest. Welcome to the Bloomcrest Theater. What's playing today? Well, let's find out. Walking through the theater, we are greeted by this ghost pianist who I just hired. Um, hello. Did not expect that, but all right. Through the entryway, we see tons of interesting features in this build, this beautiful old build. Maybe you wanna go through here and get some popcorn, or maybe you could start off with a ticket. Then you can lounge over here watching the TVs that are provided on the first floor, we also have bathrooms to our left as well as a bar down at the very front of this entryway. Here's our Stranger Things poster, which I found. Great show, would recommend. Even better last season. Up the stairs, we are greeted by another bar, but over to this side, we have a musical performance area where probably another ghost musician will show up. We have some seating over to our right, and then to the left is the Grand Theater. Through the doors, Find your seat quietly, please. And this is how our theater turned out. It looks so freaking detailed and cool. This is obviously my favorite part of the whole build. It took so long getting all those details on there. We have our big stage curtains, our VIP area over to the right, chandeliers down the middle. This looks so expensive. Here's another shot of it down below. Tons of seating available. And if you'd rather hang out and listen to some jazz music in a quieter environment, or you just feel like getting a drink before the show, this is the spot for you. We have a much smaller area for performances. Only the most extravagant sims are seen here. We have the backstage area complete with mini fridge and extra equipment. And our bathrooms are complete with $5,000 golden toilets for your bathroom pleasure. So this has been our grand theater build in The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed. Total price of this was 2.5 million simoleons. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It will be on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta if you want to download it. We have two more builds left. So let me know who you guys want to have the most expensive mansion in Bloomcrest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.